So I was about to do my Z4 steering wheel swap into my E90. My first mod actually, and I kind of messed up because I didn't realize there's something with the airbags <laughs> between the USA airbags and the European airbags. So one of these airbags is the US version and one of these is the European version. Now, both these airbags are brand new actually. And this one just came in the mail today. This one I had um, since last week. And this is the European airbag. And as you see there, the European airbag is a single stage airbag, meaning that uh, it's only one explosion of this airbag. So basically, it's one plug that goes into the airbag and one plug that goes into the car. And the plug pretty much looks identical to the existing stock steering wheel that was in my car. So when I plugged it in, I thought it'd be okay. But plugging it in, I realized um, immediately when I plugged, um, connected the battery and started the car, I had a lot of error codes basically culminating into I did not have an airbag in the car and you know took and you know I had to go out and clear the codes whatever and put the original steering wheel back in the car researched a little bit and realized that um what this airbag was module is from uh is European spec with a single stage and in the US uh, this one just came in the mail today brand new actually I had to pay a bit of money to get the correct one for my car but it's worth it and here you'll see this is a dual stage airbag and it has two plugs that goes into the airbag and the one identical connector to this one that comes um, goes into the car is what I say but it usually goes into the clock spring that lies behind the steering wheel but this goes into the car basically so the connectors are identical but what you're going to look for if you're in the US or Europe if you have a European car I'm not sure what the laws are over there or how the cars are um, if you could put this airbag into your car over in Europe or overseas, but in the US you cannot put the single stage single plug into the airbag into a car that originally had this setup. What this means is that by law in the US, I think all cars after a certain date, I think it's 1998, 1999, have to have dual stage airbags. So what this means is that every airbag in your car, the car computer, your car is, in the U.S., is spec'd out to have a dual stage airbag system. So you cannot put a single stage airbag system into a car and expecting it to work. I, I, you know, uh, I don't mess with airbags, so I'm not sure if online they, some, there is mention of people like, I guess, getting these airbags into the USA cars and like sort of tricking the car into thinking it's in Europe or tricking the car's computer into um or just basically reprogramming the car as a European spec model but I will mess around with airbags airbags do kill people when they don't go off <laughs> and they kill people when they go off and you don't expect it so you know don't mess with airbags in cars when it comes to modifications but I did get the correct airbag um, from the dealership I'm not messing around with um, eBay anymore uh, and so uh, dealership these are nine hundred dollars uh, you can get a dealership discount sometimes if you know the guy that works in the parts department he'll give you his uh, I believe it's like a 15% in, in New York 15% discount so you know you could ask and say you know can I get a discount and they'll give you their bag on eBay or online or wherever you find one of these you could get a lot of used ones from around three hundred to five hundred dollars um, depending on who you buy it from and the condition it's in but usually airbags are aren't like wear and tear items you know it's not like if once they blow up or once they're used you can't really do anything with them so they you know they all fairly come in the same unused conditions best way of saying it but this one is brand new that's his dual stage so look for two plugs if you want one of these airbags and you're updating your car with it and you need an airbag you need the two plugs single plug will not work in your car now I got this sweet Z4 steering wheel. I didn't even do a video of it yet, but um, when I first put this in the car, it did improve the handling a little bit. I did drive the car, even though the seat belt and all the airbags light was on, light were on, were on. I did drive the car for about 10 minutes, only because I didn't understand what was happening. I was just thinking if I drive the car, I would clear all the warning si signals in the car. So, but it didn't clear. And then when I got back home and I took off, took off the airbag, I realized it was. This plug did not match what was on the stock airbag. So, but this is a sweet wheel. I actually got a really good deal on this wheel, about two hundred and fifty dollars from a guy in Puerto Rico, um, shipped to me. So, two hundred dollars for the steering wheel. Shift paddle is what I wanted, but also needed a heated function because my car does come with the heat. It's a cold um, weather package, so this has the heat function. So, if you are looking for heat wheel, um, the heated steering wheels, um, and this is a Z4 E89. 
So between, I believe, 2009, 2006 and up, the all the heated wheels have a blue connector inside the um, steering wheel. So you might want to look for this if you're looking at pictures and the seller isn't sure what he's selling you. The blue connector means it's a heated steering wheel. So, And I did test this. This is a heated steering wheel. Also one of the shift paddles and the heat. So the Z4 E89, E89 car is the only car where it's a, not an SUV that has, or a 7 Series that have both the shift paddles and the heated function. BMWs don't combine these two on their sedans. So um, it's really hard to find. And I was lucky enough to get this wheel. But I got a really good deal on this wheel because the we deal was so good on the steering wheel at 250 I expected the budget like 500 and up for a wheel like this, but I got it for a really good price and it was a brand new steering wheel too because what the seller did, um, he bought the Z4 and he actually wanted to put the, a lot of the Z4 um, crowds, they like the, I don't know, the M badge on their wheel, so he got rid of this wheel and put an M Sport wheel in his car. And the Z4, the M Sport wheel is the same exact wheel. The only thing is it does not have the chrome trim and this is black and I believe this is like a softer, either plastic or leather. But the M wheel on the Z4, it's the same exact style. The only thing is it does not have the chrome trim. So I'm not sure what the deal is with the Z4 people wanting the M badge on their, in the car. But I guess it's, it's what they want and it works out for me because this guy was willing to get rid of this for 250 So it's a beautiful wheel. I like how it looks. And what I like about the um, metallic finish on this wheel is the amber light, the amber ambient light in the, in the BMWs. It has a nice orange glow that sort of reflects off the um, the chrome and the metallic on this wheel, as well as the shifter and that's in the car. I have a, a chrome shifter, not a chrome shifter, but a metallic shifter. So this matches the the car, and you'll see. I do a video once I install this, but I did get the correct airbag, which is why I'm doing this video to show you guys. Single stage does not work in a USA car. You will get a lot of codes that you can't clear and you have to either go to the dealership to clear them and the dealership would want to know what the hell's going on with your car and maybe charge you as much as they can to, to clear your codes. Or if you know someone like in locally in your region that clears codes for whatever, you know, you're gonna have to do that. Or you could buy a coder to clear the codes. But they, these air pack, you put the wrong one in, it will set up a whole bunch of codes in your car. I had a service engine code, I had a DSC code, ABS code, Seatbelt code, um, passenger restraint, um, not malfunction code, airbag warning code. So it was a whole list of codes that I got cleared. So um, and once you clear the codes, it'll, they won't come back. You know, once as long as you get rid of this um, steering wheel. So this is actually going back to the guy I bought it from. Um, I bought this from eBay and I paid three hundred dollars for this one, thinking it was a deal, but then I didn't realize it wasn't a deal. So the seller was nice enough to accept the return on this. Um, and it's going back to him, but I can't do anything with it. So anyway, and this is it. So look forward to my mods. This is the first of one of many mods I'm doing. The steering wheel goes in maybe tonight or over the weekend. Um, whenever I have time, I've been really busy selling my old car. I haven't sold it yet. So I've been really busy doing things, but look out for my mods coming out. BMW, a lot of new BMW stuff is coming. Um, so look out for that. Thank you guys for subscribing and liking. And uh, let me show you guys how this looks. A little preview of what's um so i really like the way you know it's not imperfect but kind of like how this wheel looks and it's a smaller diameter wheel as well i didn't mention the suv uh x1 x3 x4 x5 x6 they all have the shift paddles and the heated function wheels but the steering wheels and suv tend to be a wider diameter on a z4 or 3 series you want a smaller diameter wheel which is what i wanted here a small diameter means better for me it feels the car handles better it's more sportier. I don't really want the big SUV wheels, so, but uh, just a little preview of that, what the airbag looks like, so, and that's it.